you, Vineet. Thank you so much. Really appreciate your time today. You know, I think it has taken almost a month uh, to get your appointment. Yeah, you're so busy. <laughs> Always for you, Vineet. Thanks for yeah. inviting me. No, but it's a pleasure. You know, it, it has been a. Uh, I I would like to use this term as a roller coaster ride uh, because what journey you had. Uh, earlier right and then we were working together uh, kind of we were working for you guys in bcg right and uh, then you all of a sudden which was a surprise move started this venture alive hill and i believe that there was a different name when you started so you know what you had in mind how it happened and how this roller coaster right if you can just give give me a snapshot that would be wonderful vinit yeah i vinit so uh... So let me quickly get started on this here. Yeah. So yes, uh, it is a roller coaster. Yeah. So fortunate enough to work across the domains and the verticals throughout my career, right? So if if you just see the journey, because then I will just come specifically to BCG and then uh, Alive Health, how this thing happened later. Started my career uh, uh, one and a half decade back. Uh, more in the development role within Posis, moved to SAP, uh, done different kind of roles from uh, the techno functional consultant to delivery management, project management, and then moved to Germany, uh, just reporting one level down to board uh, in global HR, just getting a different dimension of the leadership skills. Came back to India again, just get into the entire engagement management, and then just thinking about how the overall technology skills and the functional skills will marry together into the business skill set and that was those 2012 to 30 uh, to 15 were the years when uh, that kind of skill set kept on developing uh, or that kind of mindset kept on developing and then bcg happened uh, and that was something in uh, uh, in today's world everything is uh, is basically driven by technology whether it is cost reduction Big impact from the technology perspective, but what we can just make uh, in by automating the processes or just identifying the cost part of it. Whether it is uh, more around the supply chain, human resources, and so on, so on. All the areas, the technology is there, right? So, uh, like was very, very exciting for those five years, uh, uh, where basically uh, was working more around marrying the strategy and technology together and getting into the business objectives into place. Then uh, in 2020, uh, uh, so this company is co-founded by three of us. Okay, The first member, uh, uh, Shashank Abdhani, right. and, uh, and then he said it was in February 2020, he called me and he said, Vinit, I'm just looking for someone who can just come and then basically look into the technology part of it i i just talked about what is the idea and so on okay i was in uh, gujarat that time uh, on some uh, uh, personal event and then he explained me okay what is this thought okay so i i was just told then why not me then he said he when i wanted to just say yes you but i i was not very sure whether you will be ready to leave this kind of job and then come out of it. So, so that is how basically, and, and then I will just come to the overall idea. So the third co-founder, he was uh, uh, managing director and partner uh, with Accenture Consulting, Sushant Roy. So when I just saw this entire team, okay, and the concept, which, which is just uh, getting married to getting into the outcome based, where we can just impact the lives of the people. I, I, I was sold. Okay, yeah, yes, this is something what we can just do. So when we three just uh, uh, just started this company, okay, two things uh, which were really really important for us. Number one, we wanted to do something which is going to impact the lives of the people. Okay, we were just looking into what all areas we can just go ahead with, and healthcare and insurance is one of the area which is number one either people don't experience. And whenever they are experiencing, the overall experience is very, very poor. 
this particular in industry has the lowest NPS across all industries. That is where we thought this is the area where we can, it is, it is going to be the tough journey for us because it is not only about just engaging the people. It is more about changing the mindset of the individuals, organizations, groups, and so on. So that is where our concept is more around. We term this uh, entire uh, concept, okay, as the health insurance platform, which is encompassing the all kind of aspects of the health, which is the financial protection, which is coming from insurance, whether it is mental health, whether it is the medical needs, whether it is diagnostic, or maybe some kind of wellness services. Everything coming together and targeting some outcomes. That is where our, this alive health is meant but, but for. Sorry, Vinita, I'm interrupting you here. You know, in hindsight, when we see it, uh, though, I mean, we were, we were uh, catching up in Feb and March. It looks like you guys were aware that COVID would happen. No, it, we were not aware. So, so, so that is something it, it happened when, when I was also living. Uh, I mean, healthcare was going to boom. You, you guys had some kind of a gut feel or what? No, 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 that was not the thing. Okay. So this is something this was, to be honest, this was one of number one was the idea part of it. Okay. It was, we also had our set of failures in the initial product design and so on over the last two years. Right. So COVID was never on our mind. Okay. It happened. Okay. This particular idea happened. Okay. More than anything, it was about the team. Okay. And number one is idea, which was more noble and where we can just impact. Uh, we can have the impact in that specific area. And then the second is a team where we all came with the specific synergy that is more around the strategy part of it. But at the same time, we had the specific skill set. Uh, one person came with the insurance and partnerships experience, other with technology and engineering and processes, the third person with the operations, product and so on. So that aspect of just marrying these two things together, we didn't want to just miss this thing. We all were just uh, into our flesh jobs. Uh, people were just telling us not to leave the job for at least two years uh, during COVID times. But we were very, very confident about our idea and we took that step at that point of time. And more interestingly, our, like you rightly mentioned, we branded our, uh, uh, our brand as immunity earlier. And then we noticed that this immunity will always be linked to some kind of disease. It is, it is not negative, but it is not so positive name. We wanted to just move into more vibrant name. That is where the alive came through. Uh, so, so, so that is our journey. And now we are live with different set of groups ranging from small groups, medium sized groups and big groups and so on. See, Im immunity became a buzzword during last two and a half years. Correct. Or, uh, I mean, if, if, if we look at it, I think your idea also changed, evolved. Uh, how many times did you guys change during say last two plus years? So this is a continuous process, right? So uh, our objective and basically our philosophy is very, very clear. It is fail fast. Okay. So we, we were just kept on. So the, the, the first objective that we had earlier, right? So it was just to get the right product market fit. Okay. Definitely, there are basically a lot of uh, uh, platforms which are available, right? They are doing all right. That is where we kept on just continuously innovating, disrupting our mindset, and learning from 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 those those things is basically where we are today, right now. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. So, so Vineet, I remember we discussed uh, before COVID happened uh, and uh, we were we were talking about functionalities and tech stack, which generally a tech company and a kind of a, uh, you know, startup or, or a stakeholders actually talk about. So, so I, if I remember correctly, you were looking for a hybrid app and you were looking for a Node.js and a Java stack and mm -hmm. and whatever stack we picked up so there were few changes and we had uh, those interactions uh, at that time how do you see that uh, 
that take uh, switch and initial perspective and the current state how do you how comfortable are you in kind yeah. of in the current extract so definitely there are uh, when we just get into the technology fitment into the business requirement right so this is basically it has to marry together right so we were very very clear from day one that we need to have basically some of the innovations using the device hardware okay and then we were just looking into if we can just go ahead with yes there were a lot of options which kept on coming whether it is around uh, we can go ahead with some kind of hybrid app or maybe the individual native apps and so on we did try a couple of things earlier right but what we identified okay during uh, during our previous lives okay and our experience what it says number one users what all users need users need number one uniformity in the user experience across platforms that is where what we identified was it is it makes sense if we are moving more around web apps that can be more responsive and can provide the uniformity across all the platforms that we have and can be embedded in our any kind of platform that we have or maybe in future if we are just going ahead and having partnerships and uh, the embedding those kind of functionalities in our customer apps and so on so that is where the web app part of it came we stuck to our native capabilities uh, on the android and ios side for a very very simple reason it gives when we are just working directly on the native functionalities whether it is on android or ios okay in the mobile development space it gives basically more flexibility while dealing with the hardware part of it whether that hardware is around the camera part of it or the sensors and so on that we intend to do in near future as part of our roadmap so yes definitely uh, and uh, i must say orin mantra was part of that entire journey and is part of that journey for 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 last two years from day one when we started yeah so so how do you see you know in retrospect uh, you know if we slice the last two plus years of our association into few months you know uh, it must have evolved so how orange mantra actually contributed at different stages of your idea and now your dream come true uh, venture yeah so so first of all i i i i'll say before i uh, i i'll just answer this why orange mantra right? so that is basically an important uh, aspect to understand so before uh, uh, we started this uh, alive health two years back two and a half years back uh, we were looking for uh, for basically a partner okay with couple of uh, and it was basically a very very clear uh, selection criteria that we have in our mind okay number one uh, is basically the technical and functional capabilities right so that was the first part of it okay the second part is basically uh, was more around the overall approachability to uh, uh, to basically the management slash the resources within that organization okay and third thing is definitely the performance and efficiency part of it that uh, that is basically these are the non negotiable parts okay what we identified was number one uh, before uh, uh, alive part okay uh, you know i i i i was part of couple of engagements with uh, orange mantra during my my previous life right so uh, during that time we we engaged in couple of uh, high profile uh, projects and efficient projects i will say okay so definitely that is something which was one of the criteria which tilted towards orange mantra because of the capability technologically as well as functionally and the second part that we had was more around the overall performance slash efficiency part of it more importantly it is about the engagement and commitment by the top management okay and that is where i just kept on reaching out to you and your team right that 
because we know that we might need basically we don't know what we are just signing up for at that point of time we might make some mistakes we need some kind of trusted partner where i can just simply just pick up the call and say yes say we need i need the support at this point of time and someone is ready to help me out at that point that is the thing that that kind of confidence something which which basically just made us take this call to move towards orange mantra now coming to the second part of it i must say yes during on our the technology part of it in terms of partnerships orange mantra is our success mantra very clearly because you guys are part of this journey right from day one it is day one you are part of this journey okay where we just uh, evolved as part of the technologies that we have used the kind of upgrades that we have done the feedback that kept on coming in terms of the different kind of upgrades that we have to do and at the same time just giving the high performance resources okay and i like i just uh, always say orange mantra's team is my team now okay and i can just reach out to i have that kind of leverage where i can just directly just go and say we need i need these 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 resources and those resources are being made available okay so these are my team okay uh, we are just working in uh, in in that mode so yes it is on the technology side on the advisory in terms of technology and expertise it is not only in terms of the front end development native development or the back end development even into the devops part of it it is orange mantra is just supporting us in and out whole heartedly yes so so that kind of trust once you have with any partner right so so that that makes a huge difference okay and and definitely we both we have evolved together and you guys played a pivotal role in 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 the entire journey wherever we have reached today awesome thank you so much really appreciate your kind words vinit thank you so much so so vinit what is the journey what is the uh, further road map of alive health so uh, vinit if we just talk about uh, uh, the further road map perspective right so we are currently working for okay so uh, for basically any kind of groups okay those are basically the corporate groups non corporate group those can be some kind of organizations alumni associations housing societies and so on so on right so we have just created that kind of entire platform okay which is just bringing all aspects of health care together under the same roof okay and then there is no admin administrator of the group okay that could be the administrator of the alumni association or maybe the corporate or so on okay they don't have to go anywhere and then we are there to just take the accountability and responsibility of the outcomes okay and that is our usp the engagement okay number 1 the scalable and robust business model and architecture that is basically already in place along with the engagement model that we have that is our usp we want to just stick to our strengths there keep on learning and then just coming up with more and more disruptions in this specific area whether it is through just having more partnerships having more engagement through analytical use cases and so on so on awesome awesome vinit thank you so much my last uh, point here vinit see digital you you are a tech uh, guy right you are a tech enthusiast tech strategist you have been ranked as uh, among top 100 emerging cios few years back and uh, uh, you have been kind of in the limelight uh, for for last many years you know now now what i also i also kind of sail in the same boat uh, and and get to in, interact and engage on this tech and digital topic a lot i personally believe that technology uh can be made very complex or can be simplified 
yeah. right? How do you take this piece, this tech plus business uh, aspect, you know, more of a functional, techno functional aspect, which which empowers, which is the engine behind any startup or a or or an enterprise these days, you know? Uh, how do you see see it yourself personally? Uh, is is this a digital piece simple or is it like complex for you? Okay, so let me take uh, uh, a stab on this. Okay, uh, number one, like I uh, few minutes back we just talked about. Okay, technology no longer is seen as simply just switching on the lights. Okay, it is not just a maintenance job. Okay, technology has taken the driver seat across business models. Okay, so the first thing that we need to understand when when we are just talking about digitization and digitalization. Okay, it is not only about getting certain apps out or certain websites out in the market. It is that it is about having impact technologically across the process chain. If we talk about, let's say, when we are just talking about the cost optimization part of it, okay, it is if we are if we need to just go a bit more deep into that, it is about embedding the technologists, and and these are not two separate roles. We need to first understand, right? So, <coughs> I'm sorry business and technology right so this has to just go hand in hand okay so that they have basically seat at the table and then say yes this is the right thing to do until unless we don't have the right data for the leadership in the boardroom they won't be able to take the right calls definitely if the data is data is of the essence right and the time is of the essence so that data and time has to has to be readily available right so when we just talk about all these things coming together and they are just working in uh, in synergy with each other, the things fall in place, right? Digitization, I will say, it is it can be made complex, definitely, yes, but it can be made very very easy also if these two mindsets. Okay, I'm again I'm just saying these are not roles. This business and technology mind comes together, then the wonder happens. Awesome. This awesome. Is, this is, is very no insightful. Yeah. Very insightful, Vineet. Thank you so much. Really appreciate your, uh, you know, you sharing these insights, uh, giving us feedback. Uh, and and we had that detailed discussion also you know how it happened uh, maybe 5 6 years back i think there were certain projects where uh, there were cer certain bottlenecks and then we got uh, engaged and i think we pitched them and those issues got resolved so i think these all small contributions have really helped reinstate our confidence in each other you know and we were always like uh, kind of uh, very clear that this business will definitely click uh, will definitely click you know and and it and it happened i think uh, congratulations you guys got funded recently uh, if you would like to tell us on on that funding part and on that future growth part also for a live health are you guys going for international uh, foray as well Definitely, why not? But yes, this is something which is uh, which is for the future. Currently, our focus is more around uh, the Indian market, right? Because there is a huge, huge, huge scope that we have, right, uh, in the Indian space, uh, both across the larger groups as well as the smaller and uh, and very, very tiny groups too. So the market is really, really big. So our first uh, uh, target is basically more around. Uh, just generating the, uh, the the value for the customers, okay, within Indian market, and then basically uh, start getting into the international foray. Perfect, great. So, guys, uh, this was Vineet calling Vineet, you know, and uh, here the insights were really nice. Especially the digital can be simple and digital can be made complex. It depends how business and technology come together. So this was the 
kind of a, a closing line and we, I, I really appreciate uh, Vineet you giving us your valuable time. My Thank pleasure. You so Vineet. Yeah. Thank you. Take care. Thanks a ton.